Today we're going to replace a worn down vinyl sliding door track with the Swissco 8106 six foot sliding glass door track. While we'll be using the six foot track, please note there's also an eight foot track available. To remove the screen, back off the rollers by turning the adjustment screws counterclockwise. With the tension off the rollers, you can now pry the screen door off. We're using a 90 degree angle pry bar scraper. Next, remove the stationary glass door. Check to see if there are any clips or brackets securing the door in place. With this door here, we will need to remove the top and bottom sill pocket fillers. Next, check the back side of the stationary door to see if there's anything else securing it to the frame. Oftentimes, there are clips or screws holding it in place. With all of the clips, screws, and brackets removed, slide the stationary door and lift it off the track. Lastly, remove the sliding door. Just like with the screen door, you will need to back off both the front and rear rollers by turning the screws counterclockwise, creating more space for removal. Once the doors are removed, mark the location of the old track rail at both ends. Use a pry bar to remove the old track. As you can see, the old track is worn down, which caused the door to stick. Lay the new track alongside the old track. Mark the length of the old track. Then cut the new track with a hacksaw. Next, line up the new track with the markings you made for the old track's rail. Be sure to leave the same size gap at each end of the track, which is important for water drainage. Mark and drill the screw holes and install the securing screws in the track. One screw at each end of the track should be fine for most patio doors. The weight of the patio door will keep the track down. If your original track had an elevated position, you can use a strip of pressure treated wood to raise up the new track. Take note, with the sliding door removed, it may be a good time to replace the rollers if they're worn down. Take a look at our other video on replacing sliding glass door wheels. With the new track secured in place, you can install the doors back onto the main frame of the track, starting with the sliding door. Reinstall the stationary door. Fasten the set screws at the back of the stationary door, then reinstall the pocket fillers being careful not to damage them. Finally, reinstall the screen door. Adjust the rollers on all doors, making sure the doors slide, close, and lock properly. 